Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to use aliases in the terminal. <laughs> to get started, we are going to open the terminal. And basically today we're going to talk a lot about aliases. And an alias is a type of shortcut that you can use when you want to use a really long command. So say you have a file that's kind of far away from the home directory and every time you want to access it, you have to CD through a series of directories in order to get to it. But you don't want to do that. You would much rather just type in go to music or something like that to get to where all of your music is so you can play it. Well, with aliases, you can do that. And so instead of typing in that really long command every time, you can just type in a little shortcut or nickname for it and it will take you right there. So how do we do this? Well, we have to add it to an executable file that the terminal will know, okay, here are our shortcuts, here are our aliases, these are what I'm using. So to do this, we're gonna go ls-a, and you're gonna look in here and see if you have something called the dot bash underscore profile. If you don't, no worries. Either way, you're gonna go nano, and then dot bash underscore profile, enter, and you should have a blank page or something that's almost blank. I have a lot here because I have a lot of aliases that I've created, but don't worry if you don't have anything. So here's where we store our aliases or shortcuts to certain things. And so we're gonna create a couple. Basically an alias is created by using the alias keyword, then the name you wanna call it, the equal sign, and then the command you want to use in quotes. So let's try it out. So I'm gonna go to the bottom of my page here and type in alias, and I'm gonna create an alias so that instead of typing clear, every time I wanna clear my screen, I just have to type C. So alias is the keyword that we're gonna use, and then the name we wanna call this alias is C, then we'll do equals, open quote, then the command is called clear, close the quote, and there it is. Let's add one more just for fun. There's another command called history, which will show you the history of the commands that you have made. And so we can access this by going alias. And instead of typing out history, I just want to be able to press H and it show me the history of my commands. And so I can do H equals open quote history, close quote, and there's another alias. How do we save this? We can do control O, hit enter. We can exit by doing control X. We're back here, and just to practice, we can do clear, and it does clear our screen still. Now when we type C, it's not gonna recognize it because we haven't told the terminal that the dot bash underscore profile is the file that we are storing our aliases in. So how do we do this? Well, we can do source, space, and then the file that's the source of our aliases. So in this case, it's the dot bash underscore profile. Hit enter. And now we'll do C, and it cleared our screen. Now let's just use the regular history. It shows all the commands that I've done for quite a bit. Now let's see if we type in H, if this thing will still happen. But how will we know? Let's clear it first with C, which is the alias we just created. And now let's type in H, and it does the exact same thing. So now we'll clear it up again. And let's prove this works anywhere, not just in our home directory where the file is. So let's go into our library and let's try to do history from here. Let's try to clear it from here. Boom, both work. Now let's add one last one just for fun. If we go cd dot dot, we'll be back in our home directory and we'll do nano dot bash profile to open up this file and edit it. Go to the bottom here and type in alias and let's say dot dot and then we'll do cd dot dot. So that way we don't have to type in cd every time we just wanna go back a page. And then we'll write this out by doing control O, hit enter, control X to get out of there. Then we'll do source dot bash profile to let the terminal know that we've updated the bash profile, hit enter, then do dot dot, and it'll take us back to users. Do we know this worked? Yes, it did. There's my user, and then we can do cd Catherine Hodge, and there we are again. So basically today we talked mainly about aliases and an alias is just a shortcut for a certain set of commands that you can use so that you don't have to type out these really long commands. To make it, you have to go into your dot bash underscore profile 
And there you'll add alias, the name you want equals, and then the command in quotes. Then you have to make sure you do the source and then the dot bash underscore profile, and that will update it with the terminal. And now you can use your shortcuts and commands. I hope you like this video. Bye-bye.